So what we're going to do in this video is have a read through Magnus number number five, uh, comic book by Valiant Comics uh, that came out in 1991. And um, for those of you who've been watching some of my comic book videos, uh, you'll know that uh, I'm a huge fan of Valiant Comics. Uh, I think they were amazing in the 1990s, uh, early 1990s anyway, uh, when Jim Shooter was on the, in the company, running the company. And uh, they're amazing right now. Uh, this third, I guess it's the third relaunch of Valiant Comics uh, from 2011 or so. Um, amazing stories, uh, amazing characters, and uh, very fun reads. As for this comic, um, it's, uh, by all accounts, uh, if you ask any Valiant comic book collector, uh, Magnus number five will be on everybody's top five most important Valiant books. And there are a lot of important Valiant books, but uh, this thing is, uh, according to some and me being one of them, uh, Magnus number five is the most important Valiant comic out there. Um, the reason being is not because of the Magnus storyline. It's, well, it starts off with the Magnus, but because uh, Magnus Robot Fighter number five is the first appearance of Rai. It's, uh, it's a flip book with Magnus number five in the front and Rai number one in the back. And uh, this format, the flip book, went from Magnus number five all the way to Magnus number eight. So it told the story, the first four appearances of Rai are in these issues. And the significance of this book is uh, not only that it's the first appearance of Rai and the origin of Rai and a lot of other characters actually, but that Rai was the first valiant um, original character that they introduced uh, and it was basically the beginning of uh, the Valiant universe as we know it right so Rai number one was the first character original character that Valiant Comics introduced uh, to the world because uh, what they had done uh, previously to that they produced some um, uh, Mario Brothers co uh, comic books to generate some money and then um, Jim Shooter, what he did after that was uh, he licensed the Magnus Robot Fighter, the rights for Magnus Robot Fighter, Solar, Mana, the Atom, and Turok from uh, Gold Key, I believe. And Magnus Robot Fighter and Solar, Mana, the Atom were the first uh, two superhero, I guess, uh, comic books that Valiant put out. Okay. And they built their universe from there. And then Rai number one was the first one. Uh, first original character and anyone following Valiant Comics right now uh, in what 2015 you'll know that Magnus, Robo, uh, Solar and Turok are now with uh, uh, IDW I believe the, the Valiant doesn't have the rights for them anymore in the third relaunch that happened okay so we're gonna have a read through this and um, it's a it's it's a very nice read and one thing you'll notice with valiant comics is one of the reasons they were brilliant at the time um one the the, the norm in comic books at the time back then was uh there was writings on the covers of a lot of the a uh, lot of the comics they that came out and the comics were extremely busy um because they were trying to get people's attention on the racks i guess there was a lot of uh, marketing ploys and valiant comics uh basically their covers were very clean very very neat right as you can tell with this one and um and this one over here this is uh magnus robot fighter number zero and what valiant comics had done was um from magnus robot fighter number one which is which is here all the way up to Magnus Robot Fighter number eight. They had included coupons in the books and we'll take a look at the coupons when we crack number five open. But they had included coupons in the books and what people ended up doing was cutting out the coupons uh, from number one to number eight, sending it in and getting a copy of uh, Magnus number zero. Okay, and you can tell with the covers, they're just very powerful very vibrant and just clean just beautiful artwork okay 
And this was Magnus number fighter number zero that you got in the mail. Um, and this is number one. Now, I didn't cut out any of the coupons uh, for my books because, uh, I don't know, that's sort of a no-no for me. But uh, this one, uh, this one I got, uh, just like, I think I bought recently with a lot, uh, this one. Um, and there are some of these around. They were very expensive at the time. Um, this is Magnus Rose Rider number one. Beautiful cover. Very nice. And these things uh, are, they range anywhere. The, uh, um, the, the grade on these is uh, mint, you know, probably seven, eight, all the way up to mint, depending on uh, the individual issues. Beautiful cover. It's very sleek. I remember uh, this one I really remember seeing on the racks when I bought it or one of the copies I have multiple copies of these I'm not sure if this is the first one I bought um, I bought the original Valiance one copies and I read some of them and I went wow these are they were incredible so I went back and bought multiple copies of some well multiple copies of every Valiant early Valiant that came out uh, this is number three this one has a little ding I don't know if you can see it here so this one wouldn't be the mint condition. This one would be, I don't know, something around an 8, 8.5 maybe. Okay. This is number four. Beautiful. And um, I, got, I got multiple copies of most of these anyway, but I did grab myself uh, as many number fives as I could at the time. And, uh, you know, some of these are mint, some of them aren't. Uh, this is lower quality than this. Uh, uh, this one hasn't been read. This one has been read. So I'm going to read this one so we do less damage uh, to this guy. Okay. And I think this one I grabbed uh, back in the day afterwards. I kept on looking to collect. Uh, so I grabbed this one for, I think, 1250 This is like 20 years ago or so. Most of these I grabbed at cover price off the racks. And this is uh, the flip of number five. So we're gonna read this one. Okay. We'll take a closer look at this. And this is Magnus for what Friday number five, right? Here's number six. And there's a lot of characters that were introduced in these four issues. For Valiant Comics, Solar did a crossover with this. Um, I believe this is the first appearance of the Spider Aliens, um, and this is a storyline, uh, Magnus number five to eight, with the flip side of the rise. Uh, it's the invasion storyline. This is number seven. And number eight. And this is uh, Magnus number nine. No more coupons out. So this one doesn't have the coupons. Okay. So what we're going to do is have a read through Magnus number five, or I should say Rye number one. Okay. So let's uh, crack this open. This is one of the old school bags. I'm gonna take these tapes off. This one, uh, as far as grades goes, uh, it's in pretty good shape, very good shape. So this is number uh, five, Magnus number five. 
on the flip side is uh, Rai number one, right? And um, it's got some uh, reading wear on it. Very minor, very minor. Okay. So this is Rai uh, number one. This is uh, Invasion Part Two. Uh, on the flip side is Invasion Part One with Magnus. So what we'll end up doing is. Uh, Flipping through, uh, let's just flip through Magnus number five. Have a look through this. And I think uh, the story for this is uh, Magnus. Um, this is in the future, uh, 4001. And uh, what's happened in the future, um, you know, there's artificial intelligence, a lot of robots. And there are robots right now that. Uh, have become autonomous, they're AI basically. And uh, and there's people who are opposing the robots, there's, uh, there's people who are for the robots, there are good robots, bad robots. And basically there's a war going on between humans and the AIs and multiple other factions. And Magnus is sort of the protector, he, you know, disciplined uh, or I guess exterminated bad robots. Uh, but then he realized that were robots that had got rogue. But then I think uh, he realized that uh, they were becoming autonomous and they were living beings. So he's uh, abandoned his post and gone underground in hiding, cognito. And uh, And I believe uh, in this issue, basically his cover is blown. Okay. Beautiful artwork, nice colors. Like the artwork wasn't as uh, muscular, for lack of a better word, as the rest of the comics that were coming out at that time. It was very, very story driven and amazing stories. If you were a sci-fi fan, uh, this stuff was fantastic. Magnus and Solar were absolutely amazing. And Rai. Beautiful color artwork. Right. So Magnus's cover, I think, is blown here. And what happens uh, with the storyline is, um, I believe there's a, Magnus gets recruited to go uh, to Japan and fight grandmother or take down grandmother um, and then they all get caught up with the invasion of the spider aliens and with the people who are pro AI anti AI I can't remember the stuff because I read a long time ago it'd be a nice little uh, refresher to read the uh, Rai number one and here are the coupons uh, people will cut out this one I do have some that are cut out uh, uh, that I bought afterwards uh, but I do have a fair bit uh, most of my collection for this is the coupons are intact uh, more than 90% I believe anyway not bought so these are some of the character characters that appear and uh, here's a tidbit I found out uh, after after uh, you know, digging up some of the info on this. Uh, Jim Shooter was editor-in-chief, was a writer. Um, he, he outlined the story. He, was, he, he, had, a, he, had, he had on many hats. Uh, I mean, he was the editor um, of Marvel Comics for a number of years and basically is credited with, uh, you know, pulling Marvel Comics out of, you know, making them profitable in the 70s and 80s. Um, but I didn't know this, that the pencils for this, it says it was Paul Critic, but Paul Critic was the pseudonym for Jim Shooter, which I had no idea about. And Jim didn't want his name to be on as penciler because they wanted, I guess they were wanted, they just wanted to give the impression that they, the company was bigger than it was, or you know they didn't want Jim Shooter wearing too many hats as editor in chief, publisher. Um, 
you know, the, the outliner <laughs> um, and doing the pencils as well is a lot of work if you consider how many books Valiant was putting out. So he actually is, uh, and this side is right, and he's actually the one who, I believe, penciled uh, penciled Rai as well. Let's take a look. And Valiant put uh, put their creators info on the last page at at the bottom of uh, their comics that they produce, which was again very much different than most other companies. Most of the other companies were, uh, yeah. Take a look, Paul Chadwick most of the other companies had huge splash pages pages with their names on them and stuff and valiant uh, did very differently okay. and this is uh Rai number one um, published in 1991 okay with uh, the story with uh, jim shooter pencils jim shooter pseudonym paul uh, chaddick i guess uh, Bob Layton did the inks for this. Uh, he did the inks for many of the Valiants. Amazing, amazing talent, beautiful work. And Janet Jackson, uh, I think she did almost all the colors for almost all the early Valiants, and they are absolutely beautiful. Just vibrant colors, okay. And this is uh, the beginning of Rai. This is the first appearance of Rai and the origins in this and introduces a lot of characters. Okay. So let's have a read through this. Um, so this is uh, Spirit, uh, Spirit Against the Flesh, Invasion Part 2. Right. And Invasion Part 1 is Magnus Robot Fighter number 5. Um, the flip book of this, right? So this is March 24th, 4001, 6.01 a.m. Another day, how many more, grandmother? How much longer can I last? And uh, since reading that, let me give you a little uh, background to this. This is Futuristic Japan, uh, 4001, and Japan is ruled over or maintained by an AI called Grandmother, um, intelligent being, I guess. Uh, and Rai is Grandmother's guardian. And Rai is uh, the descendant of Bloodshot. The, it's nanotechnology, you know, amplified. It's futuristic, of course. It's in the future 4000. So uh, technology has been improved. But uh, Rai is grandmother's guardian, and grandmother, you know, takes care of everyone in Japan. And some people are for grandmother, oh, and some people are anti grandmothers. They're called anti grannies, I think. And they are, uh, uh, they want to destroy grandmother. They want people to take care of themselves. And right now, the dominant force is uh, the ones who are satisfied with what grandmother is doing and riots is his guardian okay so japan march 24th 4001 601 a.m another day how many more grandmother how much longer can i last oh hush rai you're supposed to be con contemplating the sunrise you know we have to stick with it until the boy comes home. He'll come around soon. Now, relax, focus, and think of eternal things. Your nation, your people, me. Eternal things, like aches and pains, this isn't fair. The boy's turn, it's the boy's turn to turn, turn to take the job. I swear, young people today have no sense of duty. Concentrate on the sunrise. I've contemplated 10,000 sunrises. 35,890. 35,890. 
that's how long Rai has been alive. And this is uh, the father of the Rai that is to come, the Rai that we know, uh, that the main story was focused upon. And um, the power of the Rai, just to give you a background, the power of the Rai is passed on from generation to generation. Um, so Rai's are born, bred, and educated to be protectors of grandmother. I want to sleep late for a change, grandmother. There, there, Rai. Be patient. Patient. I wish you'd let me drag his lazy butt back here. That won't solve anything. Uh oh trouble in the Kyoto plexus rye quickly merge into my nerve web I'm getting too old for this rye please it'll take too long if you stay in the duck system all right all right fill me on fill me in on the way so whenever there's trouble rye is called It's a virob infection, Rai. Oh, look at the robots. They're creating chaos. It's a, it's a type I've never seen before. They're replicating very quickly. It's starting to hurt Rai. Wow. Okay, okay. I'm exiting the web. Huh. Nasty looking buggers. Where do these things do these things come from? Some anti granny radical must have smuggled in one of those replication pods. Well of course, but who created the pod in the first place? All I know is that they're eating me alive rye please stop them yes yes can you encapsulate encapsulate the infected region all right closing all portals and i'll try to construct the cyst quickly but i don't think it'll hold them it won't need to hold them for long very vibrant colors is very much like Magnus fighting style ah they see that there's no place to run so they're turning to fight use the energy right Rai, please yes yes give it form shape it wait a minute the staff so he's forming uh, weapons with his energy i think the sword is better choice i think the staff is as close as i'll ever get to f to a fishing pole huh. he's being sarcastic funny So let me pretend I'm enjoying my old age. Huh? Serious fighting style. So we zoom away. Okazaki Island, 6.20 p.m. Tomorrow, little nubbin, I think we will go fishing. Takashi is a bit young for that love. Takashi is a bit young for that love. I guess Takashi is the kid. Yes, I suppose, but I'm eager for him to have the kind of childhood I never had. So this is uh, the Rai's son who's supposed to take over. Because of grandmother, I hate her. 
No, don't say, no, don't say that, Kazuyo. She means well. She loves our people. She shelters them and cares for them. They should learn to take care of themselves like us. Hmm. Eleven thirty a.m. Eleven thirty p.m. Psst, wake up, young spirit. So I guess it's the mother contacting. I'm awake. Why are you disturbing me, grandmother? Something terrible has happened. Come to me, please. He's calling Raya. Do not miss the most important comic event of the week. Definitely, Valiant Comics were one of the most important comic events of the 1990s, that's for sure. That's for sure. So, what was the... Oh, yeah. So, something terrible has happened. Come to me, please. So, grandmother's calling. Well, soon to be the main ride, I guess. All right. But this had better be important. I told you, I don't want your messenger globals global globals coming around here it's extremely important you'll see so he hops in the globe globe globals and zooms where exactly are you taking me he enters the one of the portals to my center young spirit I'm gonna see grandmother Twelve forty a.m. Father, what happened? Oh, it looks like he got injured. I got cracked by some Vibots. Not to worry, Sonny. I crunched them all before I collapsed in agony. <laughs> He's sarcastic, eh? But my injuries are bad. As much as I wish I could go on defending poor dear grandmother. I'm finished. It's all up to you now. Oh, no, sorry. What do you mean, sorry? I can't do it anymore. You've got to stop this foolishness and start doing the job you were born, raised, and trained to be. You've seen, we've seen, we've seen all through this. I don't want, we, we've been all through this. I don't want to be the next Rai. And I'm not giving my son to grandmother to train as my replacement. You're a lucky boy. Grandmother found you a suitable mate while you're still young. Don't you see? You'll get the entire, you'll get to retire early. I was 95 when I sired you. Wow, rise live a long time. Look, Zakuyo and I have talked it over and decided I shouldn't do it. It's settled. How dare you abandon, abandon your duty? How dare you dishonor a thousand year tradition? So rise have been protecting grandmother for thousands of years. For a thousand years your injuries aren't quite as bad as you thought huh <laughs> tricking out. ow you're right about one thing you've got to get this job up you've got to give up this job dad you're getting slow 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 yes and I can't use the energy properly anymore I can't even draw the sword anymore, but grandmother needs a rye. And if you won't, let her build some semi-autonomous defender rob, robs, the defense robs. 
or form a human militia through that. These are modern times that, these are modern times that a lot of people are beginning to think that humans ought to take, ought, ought to take more responsibility. So let them. Mother comes in, she enters the conversation. Some people simply want me dead, young spirit. The anti grannies are insane, but they are few of them. You're not, they're not, they're no real threat. No, not, a, I'm not afraid of them or these mysterious virobs they keep s smuggling in. But in Northam, they have found a cat's paw who is very dangerous. Cat's paw. Magnus. I guess in the Magnus number five, Magnus is. Uh, going to be being sent to Japan he's coming to kill me he's on his way now I don't think I can beat him that's his father I don't think I can beat him so you want me to stop Magnus I will need to full I will need the full power of Rai to do that. But once Magnus is dead, I will give them back. Understood? No. He's trying to cut a deal. Foolish boy, even this, this attempt to murder me fails. There will be others, as long as there are anti anti grannies. Accept your responsibility entirely or let them let them get it over with. Remember your responsibility includes providing a successor, your son. Now, you will keep your vows to me or you are no longer of my people. Choose. Oh, I guess he's threatening. I will keep my vows. 3.02 a.m. I'm prepared to receive the energy, Father. This is the happiest day of my life, son. Grandmother will help us move the energy. It burns a little. Wow, so he's gonna do the transfer. Right. Okazaki Island, 4.42 a.m. So it goes back home as right. When I awakened and found you gone, I suspected that grandmother had finally won. Ah, oh, that's his wife. Waking up. I'm sorry, Kazuyo. Sorry? How dare you do this to me? I have no choice. The anti-grannies have recruited Magnus. No one else can stop him. I wanted things to be different. But you knew I was, I was heir to Rai. You knew what that meant. You accepted it. I accepted it because I loved you. But I don't want my baby raised in isolation, doing nothing but training hearing nothing but granny's lies you promised me when when takashi was born that you wouldn't let that happen to him kazuyu listen listen to you mouth more of more of granny's cold rationalization no i've heard enough Virobs, put Takeshi down or they will kill him too. Please, Tohuru, Tohuru, please, Tohuru. Hmm. 
No. And you notice there's no uh, Valiant Comics. There's no sound effects, words, right? It's just the art. Right. Beautiful. Just panel work. out the window he produces energy stars nice panels there pretty colors them all tell me Kazuyo when did the anti grannies when you're when you over before we met granny made a mistake when she has selected me think what that means Toru she's fallible perhaps But grandmother does a lot for our people and asks little in return. One child every few generations, a single guardian to protect the host body that 50 billion people live inside. Live inside. So 50 billion is the population of Japan right now. At 4,001, that's a lot of people. Live? No, they merely exist, kept like pets lulled into complacency weak dependent better th better that takeshi die here than serve that monster i love you i love you toru she's grabbed the gun and he produces energy stars and destroys the gun I saw what happened. I love her grandmother still. Yeah. You meant to leave the child with her, didn't you? You came here only to say goodbye. Ah, yes, oh, I was going to leave the kid. But now, but now you see that grandmother needs a ride, don't you? Now and forever takes his son and puts him inside the, the orb. March 25th, 5.59 a.m. Relax, young, young Rai. Focus. Think of eternal things. And this is the same... Uh, same view that we started off the story with right with his father being rye right so this is the first appearance of rye the origin of rye uh, the older rye the first appearance of the older rye first appearance of japan in 4001 nice little story just contained and part uh, part two of invasion that starts off from uh, Magnus number five and continues on all the way to Magnus number eight. this reading session and uh, we'll have a little read through and uh, sample some other books yeah okay I'll see you guys in the next video bye for now